Welcome back all you beautiful people out in YouTube land. Uh, we are doing another bourbon whiskey review and this one is on Caribou Crossing. Um, it is the Canadian Blanton. Um, it is kind of hard to find a little bit. I guess apparently out here it's considered an allocated bop. Uh, we'll do an opening about it here in a second. Um, if you like these videos, Please like, subscribe, let us know what's going on in the comments below. This way we know if this is actually working, if this is a good thing that we're doing or not. So, without further ado, I'm Kyle, his wife Stephanie, or I guess Bourbon Mama. <laughs> um, but uh, she'll go through, she'll read off the back of the list, or what's on the back of the box for us, uh, just so you guys can have a little bit more of an idea. All right, so Caribou Crossing is a single barrel Canadian whiskey. Like the long seasonal journeys taken each year by the majestic caribou herds of North America, this bottle of Caribou Crossing single barrel Canadian whiskey has been on a journey of its own. Caribou Crossing single barrel has been painstakingly handcrafted by our expert whiskey making team, which has selected the finest whiskey available. The whiskey has been patiently aged in oak for many years to give it a rich and complex yet smooth flavor. Each barrel is then individually with expert care and skill under rigor, rigorous quality standards. A new Canadian whiskey as bold and adventurous as the great caribou who roam the wild. Caribou Crossing is a Canadian whiskey unequaled by any other. So, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's that uh it's actually yep sazerac company from louisville kentucky so it is the same as not i'm not saying it is the same but it's the same company that does blattens they do eagle rare each together all of those um so we'll do a quick unboxing i'll turn around the box for you guys to see too i don't know if it'll still show up and pause in the video if you want to read any of that So we have the bottle, it's got a nice little bag on it, pretty big uh, topper, I feel like it's bigger than Blatton's. It's a lot bigger. But it's got uh, the wax seal on it, just like Blatton's. Little bag. And you can see that the bottle is etched all around or on two sides it's etched and then this was a select barrel single barrel by Binnie's it's a nice bottle nice looking bottle yeah nice looking uh, packaging in general And you paid what, 54 bucks? 55? It was like 55 somewhere. Something like that. I don't know if that's a good deal. I think it was or like not, 60 but... after tax or something. Something like that. Alright. So let's see here. Nice little pop. I don't know why I think it's a wine thing to smell the cork, but <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy cork. Smells good. It almost has a melon smell. That sounds really weird, right? You gave me a lot more. You can have that. Okay. And as you can see, one of our pop-ups, Harold. Yeah, you hear Harry. me. I guess you're in the video now, huh? You're a YouTube doggy. Oh, we got. And Tinky then we got Tinky out with the. Hi, Bubba. Hello. 
and our other guy's hiding. Like I say, with every whiskey and bourbon, it smells like cinnamon. But it has a slightly melon-like scent. I don't know about the melon. It, it smells like something. I mean, everyone smells things differently, so... I do kind of get like a caramel... I, I feel like it's a lot lighter than most of the stuff that we've tried. Yes, I would definitely agree. It has a much lighter scent. that burn or that hug well, give it a minute you haven't drinking anything we'll try and go back <laughs> and forward again um, I mean it, it's it's good I mean it's nothing super special to say It tastes a lot better than some of the other ones that you have. I'm telling you, this tastes close. To me, you haven't had Blanton's. I haven't had Blanton's, no. But to me, it tastes pretty darn close to Blanton's. Mm. Really darn close to Blanton's. One of these days, we'll have to do a review between Blanton's and Caribou and see yeah. if there's a difference. So the first sip is what burned, but I don't get that anymore. Right. And I get some warmth, but that's about it. And that's because it's the first time you've had it. It's, well, you haven't drinking whiskey like this today, yeah. so. Is it what you expected? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, it, it, it pretty much tastes like Blanton's to me. Um, maybe a little bit smoother. Um, I mean, I guess that was somewhat smooth after the first sip. Yeah. Um, would I drink it again? Yeah. I mean, obviously, well, I got you a, have bottle. a bottle of it. <laughs> but, um,. <laughs> I don't know. I always feel like it's not the hype that everyone's making it to be. Uh, yeah, I I would agree. It's just, eh. I mean, for the price for the that price, we paid for it, cool bottle, yeah, heavy topper, um, the packaging, it that's nice, yeah. Kind of comparing it to maybe say Elijah Craig, like oh, this is ten I times would, better I would pick than Elijah Craig. Over, yeah, you know, way over Elijah. Craig. Yeah, um, but that's our preference, right? Um. Getting it for the price that I got it at, which was pretty close to MSRP. Well, we think. We think. Again, shout out to Bruzel app. Going off of his, you know, that's... Uh, I, it was a couple bucks more than MSRP on there. So, I'm happy with the purchase of it. I'm not disappointed in what the price was that I, I paid for it. I think it was pretty good from there. Um... What would you put on a scale of one to five? Um, maybe a three and a half. Really? Possibly four for how smooth it is. I'll but it's like, just, it's it tastes like any other whiskey, somewhat. I'd say probably like a four and a half. Okay, you're being generous. Yeah, I mean, the other main generous probably because of the way it looks and the hype on it, but... Um, well, if we're basing it off of the presentation, yeah, I, I could say we'll a four, four and a half. presentation and taste, all that other stuff. I mean. Fine. Strictly taste 3.5. When you look at the whole package, maybe four, four and a half. 4.5. Yeah. Okay. That's fair enough. Well, there you go. There's our review on Caribou Crossing. Um, again, like, subscribe, and... Uh, let us know if you have any other comments about it, how we can improve it. And uh, 
We'll talk to you later.